Hi guys, Barnaby again for Spurred On and our regular edition of Five Things We Learnt uh, on a Monday. And of course this time it's what we learnt from the Middlesbrough game. It was Middlesbrough 1, Tottenham Hotspur 2. Unfortunately we couldn't get up to Teesside for that one. But again, another fantastic three points for Tottenham Hotspur. Any three points in the Premier League is a well-earned, well-fought three points. And I think seeing how Everton went uh, to Bournemouth and lost 1-0, uh, they were one of only three unbeaten teams in the Premier League before this weekend, including ourselves and Manchester City. Uh, they were expected to go and turn Bournemouth over. They lost 1-0, and the same could easily have happened at Middlesbrough. A team fighting for points, come up, had a decent start, but Spurs did the job. And I think the main difference between the Spurs of now compared to the Spurs of three years ago before Pochettino came is that not only do we go and grind out those results, but we play well as well. And it's almost like more of an expectation that we're going to go and get results like that. Whereas certainly, in years gone by, I would absolutely have expected Middlesbrough to turn us over up there. Anyway, let's, like I said, talk about the five things that I felt we learned. I'm going to start with this. The risk that Pochettino took in resting Dyer, Dembele and Rose for a game like that in the knowledge that we had CSKA Moscow away this coming Tuesday. Dyer and Dembele had slight hamstring strains uh, earlier on uh, in the last week or two. He didn't want to risk them, but he also knew we needed to get a result. And it just shows that Pochettino, his decision making is pretty much spot on. Uh, I know there was, he was getting a little bit of stick on social media during the game about picking Sissoko ahead of Lamella. However, he got it right. You go away from home like that. You have your big players on the pitch, not just in terms of talent, but also in terms of stature. Intimidate the opposition. And then when you can hit them on the break, because when you're playing away from home, you've got to let, you're always going to have the home team going at, going at you to some degree because the, uh, the fans are going to be behind them and they're expected to, to really have a go at it. Middlesbrough did that and we hit them on the break. And uh, I just think it shows how much our squad depth has improved from last season that we can put in players like Wanyama, who I'll talk about more, like Sissoko, uh, like Hung Min Son, who I'll also talk about, who's playing absolutely brilliantly. And we can really rotate the squad for games like that, still pick up the three points, then go to an absolutely vital game in Moscow this Tuesday, tomorrow night, and hopefully bring those players back, play our first team that we know is the best team that we have on show. Uh, maybe give or take the odd player. I think Hung Min Son is definitely playing his way into that team and give CSK Moscow a real go tomorrow night. So the first thing I want to say, well done Poch, well done for taking that risk, and well done in the summer to him and Daniel Levy for picking out the right signings to increase the depth of that squad. Second one I want to talk about, as I alluded to, Hung Min Son, absolutely fantastic. I saw enough from him last season with his goals at Palace, with his goal at Chelsea. I think he scored maybe four or five goals last season. Let me know in the comments how many exactly he scored because I uh, can't get it off the top of my head right now. But he showed me enough with his finishing, with his pace, with his ability to ghost past players, with his decision making that he could be a top player for Spurs. Now, after he came back from the Olympics this summer where South Korea had lost surprisingly and uh, from everything we hear, Sonny was very upset about that, really wanted that gold medal around his neck. He felt a little bit like maybe he wasn't getting enough game time. Was he a bit homesick, wanted to go back to Germany? Pochettino sat him down, had a word with him, said he didn't feel like he had had enough of a chance and done his best as yet for Spurs and more was to come. And that has been proven. He has been absolutely electric the last few weeks, absolutely on fire. I know I spoke about him last week in Five Things as well, but what can you do? His ability to go both ways, take it round, uh, uh, defenders on the outside, get to the byline, get his cross in go inside, hit it into the far corner, uh, or take it on his left foot and uh, bury it uh, past Victor Valdez like he did on Saturday for the first, game, uh, first goal. Absolutely fantastic, and he's, he's proving himself an amazing player for Spurs at the moment. And not just a squad player anymore either. I think he is really pushing Eric Lamella, uh, Christian Eriksen, and Deli Alli for a place in that three behind the front man. Uh, I know that um, Pochettino played a slightly different uh, system on Saturday with a 4-3-3 and fitted them all in like that. But I would be very surprised if he didn't go back to the 4-2-3-1 tomorrow night in Moscow. And also, I'd be surprised, I have to say, whether Hung Min Son didn't start, if he didn't start that game. What do you think? Let me know in the comments box below. Will it be Sonny? Will it be Lamella? I think Ericsson and Ali will play, but what formation would you play? What team would you put out? Let me know in the comments box below. But well done, Hung Min Son. Absolutely on fire. What a player we have right now on form for Tottenham Hotspur. Third thing I want to talk about 
is our defence. You cannot go to places like Middlesbrough, you cannot go for games like that where you've got a more important game coming up on the Tuesday, you know that the players are going to be thinking about that not wanting to get injured, but you cannot go to places like that unless you have a strong defence who are going to keep the goals out. I know we didn't keep a clean sheet, but it was another goal that came from a set piece, uh, headed in from a set piece. I do think we give away too many of those in and around you know, 5-10 yards out from the 18 yard box, but if you don't concede more than one in an away game, it gives you, uh, in any game, but especially in an away game, uh, I think it gives you an absolute great chance with the talent we have going forward to win those games. And that was proven. I just think, not only from the stats that we have the best defence in the league at the moment, but also just the way that Toby Alderweireld is marshalling those back, that back four. It means that even the players playing in front of the, of the back four are so much more confident and uh, enabling us to pick up away win after away win. It's been two seasons of this now and long may it continue, especially Man City coming up at home at the weekend. We are going to be tested, but the confidence will be streaming through that defence, and I think we can definitely get a result in that game. It's going to be really, really exciting, uh, and that's even without talking about the CSKA Moscow game, where they're going to have to be tight as well. Playing those games in Russia, not easy. Very partisan home crowd, very difficult conditions, potentially. Let's see what happens, but with a great defence, and they keep their form up, Danny, uh, Carl Walker playing brilliantly as well. I expect Danny Rose to come back into the team tomorrow night after his injury. Let's keep a clean sheet and we will go to Moscow and win that game. So that was the third thing I want to talk about, our defence playing brilliantly. Fourth one, I want to talk about Vincent Janssen and particularly his hold-up play. Now, obviously, he's going to be talked about if he doesn't score enough goals and people will try wrongly to tar him with the kind of Bobby Soldado brush. As much as I love Bobby, you know, it didn't work out for him. He wasn't really the right player for the Premier League. But for me, Vincent Janssen's strength and hold-up play, back-to-goal play, is what shows him as a cut above Bobby Soldado in this league. I think he will score goals when the chances come, I really do, but he was involved in both goals on Saturday against Middlesbrough. Fantastic stuff holding and giving the pass at the perfect time for Sonny for the first goal. And the second one, I don't know if you remember, but he held it up, lobbed it over someone and then gave it back to Sonny and Sonny did the business from there. I think he's a terrific buy at 18 million pounds. I think uh, because of the money in the uh, transfer, uh, sorry, from the TV deal going up, it's basically the equivalent of a 10 million transfer before this TV deal came in. And he will be a fantastic asset for Tottenham Hotspur. The amount of work he puts in as well. I know Rude Hullet on Match of the Day said he needs to be in the centre of the box all the time, but I actually don't agree with that. I think if he's doing the hard work up, uh, up front on his own, bringing in our brilliantly talented attacking midfielders who can all score goals when given a chance, fantastic finishes, that works for me. And uh, I think he's going to prove to be a brilliant signing. Well done, Vincent Janssen, in your performance on Saturday. And finally, from Vincent Janssen to Victor Wanyama, what a difference it's made this season where you can put in Victor Wanyama to come in if Eric Dyer is not available or if one of the other midfield, when Dembele was injured last year, we we're having to bring in someone of the ilk of a Tom Carroll, of a Ryan Mason. Good, honest pros. I like those players. I'm glad Ryan Mason has started well up at Hull uh, with a good goal in the week in the League Cup. However... You get to bring in Victor Wanyama now, an absolute beast, a better player, goes about his business quietly, breaks up play, interceptions, gives it to other players, and I think he's been another fantastic signing for Tottenham Hotspur, and long may it continue. I don't think he'll play against Moscow. I think Eric Dyer will come back in uh, if his fitness is guaranteed, but Wanyama is a perfect squad player. Bring him in for those games away from home in the Premier League against a promoted side and he is exactly the kind of player you want in there to do the dirty work and get you those three points. So well done him. Well done Tottenham Hotspur. Fantastic result. Second in the league now. Only two unbeaten teams, us and City, coming to us on Sunday afternoon. Beat them there 4-1 last season. My God, if we did that again, I think people would be scarily talking about Tottenham Hotspur as potential title contenders. For me, it's too early for that. But what a start we've had this season compared to last. Uh, and long may it continue, like I already said. Brilliant stuff for Tottenham. Great squad work as well. Well done, Pochettino, for your decision making. Let me know in the comment section below what you think the scores will be, not only for CSK Moscow away tomorrow night, but also for Tottenham Hotspur against Manchester City on Sunday. Can we turn them over? Can we make it three wins in a row against them? Who knows? Can we take Guardiola's 100% record off him? That would be absolutely amazing. Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube if you don't already. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Most importantly, get behind the boys tomorrow night. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, guys. Barnaby for Spurred on in another edition of Match Preview Battle with Jack Bryden. How are you, Jack? I'm fantastic. More importantly, how are you? Because you've been a bit under the weather, haven't you? I've been a bit under the weather, but I'm very well.